Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be, welcome back to episode 40, the big 40. Hooray, I got G notifications today. Maybe it was just that nothing had actually sold on previous days and not anything booked because I changed nothing. Today, we will be back to the Warriors Guild. Maybe for the last time? Who knows? It just depends how lucky we get on these last two defenders. We need the rune and the dragon, and then we are all done. The drop rate for the dragon, I think we said was a 1 in 100, and they have 150 HP rather than 75, so it's going to be a slower grind for that last one than the previous ones, but we only need one more and then we're on to it. So perhaps... Today, I mean, we only saw two defenders yesterday in a full session, but who knows? RNG is a fickle mistress, and none of us could possibly pretend to know what she has in store. Of course, we got the usual farm runs on the route. Getting some more cash up. I think, I mentioned this a while ago, but I think after I've got the dragon defender, I'm gonna temporarily keep the full obby and go do some scurrious with it until we get a scurrious spine and at that point we can sell the helm and the berserker necklace back we'll have already sold the shield back and we can chill and do some scurrious with a bone mace and a dragon defender and see like how good the xp rates is get a proper comparison to sulfonagua and that should be an interesting experiment to to figure out and then I might stay there till I'm 70 attack and strength, is what I'm currently thinking, because I'm fairly sure 70 attack and strength will allow me to wield Torag's hammers, which are another double hitting weapon that should be much better than the Sulphur Blades. I haven't actually looked into it properly, but it's still a double hit weapon, so we'd be able to train at Nagua with them and get full value out of that. That's where my head is currently. Okay, full six patches again. We got it done in kind of record time as well. Very good speed here. And a lovely full invent of herbs. Yesterday's Renard still didn't sell. We'll stick those up together, may as well. Slightly lower. Perfect. Oh, look at that. We're above two mil. Still got two days of seeds plus one day planted. We are in the money at the minute. Quite positively in the money. Right then, so go to the Warriors Guild. In we go. Don't know why I'm alking compulsively. We don't have anything to alk. What a beast! Oh, dude's got a gilded sim, that's cool. Either he does a lot of clues based on his outfit. Oh, he likes buying clue items off the GE. Dude's fighting runes, so I don't know what he's doing. It's not efficient. Got the samurai grooves on as well. I think that's what they are. Alright, this will be the last one. I don't want to overstock too much on tokens, because, well, we're going to be done soon, and, you know, there's nothing to do with them once we are. They are just a dead resource, so. Let's just move this shit down here. And we're going straight upstairs. What up, Cam? Oh, I need to tag them all again. Every day. There's someone else on this world as well, so should be a little more polite.
Oh! 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 We've been here like five minutes! That's so fucking good! What a way to start the day! I'm gonna slap it straight on. We don't need this anymore. Who cares about defensive bonuses? Let's go. What? We got a Rick Turpentine as well. That's 640 GP. It's all popping off. How did we get that so soon? We only just logged in. Thought it was meant to be like on a one hour timer. Okay. Okay. I'm flapping. I was not expecting that to happen so quick. Oh, go downstairs. Oh my god. I went back up. Fuck me. Okay. Quick stop over here. We are going to get a stamina because I feel like I need it right now. Do I need any more food? Just in case. Because I know the tougher downstairs. And then we go out to the, the basement. Look at that, we got a room defender. Door is unlocked. Excellent. I think she said it's 100 to go in. I hope that doesn't mean it every time we go through the door, but it might. Oh no, it only cost 10. Let's go! We're on the big Cyclopses. We don't have to worry about hitting specific ones anymore. 43 minutes on the clock. We've got 38 minutes in the room that we can work with. Do you think we can do it, folks? Do you think we can see a Dragon Defender today? That rune one came in so quick. I'm gonna focus up, make sure my flicks are on point, and just send this. The Alks are better here as well, which is nice. Like they're actually worth a bit of money. So I may end up losing more prior today. We didn't spend it a single prior dose yesterday. It was sick, but I'll probably end up spending more today because I'll be picking up drops and potentially alking if it invents space. I should actually just move this so it's nowhere near my alk on the spell book. It's not worth picking up. I can't figure it out. They have a really small aggro range, these ones. Or maybe the lost aggression. No, 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 because I've only been in here for eight minutes. But that might be included in, in the previous room as well, because it'll be the same message in the chat. That's stacked up. Ooh, we got a rune full helm. First rune item I've seen from a Cyclops. I don't, don't think the lower tier ones can give rune, but apparently these can. At least rune falls. For some reason in the back of my head, I feel like they might have a rune 2H as well, but maybe I'm tripping. This kills us all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually just gonna leave prayer on and arc these. Oh wait, did I leave it off? Shit. Okay, my flicking has actually been abysmal today. I just can't get comfy in my chair. I feel like I'm leaning forward too much and it's gonna be my neck ache and my flicking has just suffered so much for it. I think I'm gonna have to repot. Chair issues aside, not having to worry about which ones are growing you is actually super nice. There is 71 hit points. Always nice to get some extra padding on the HP total. Unfortunately, we can still get hit for a 73 and we will die. But not if we're brewed up. We're brewed up, we can survive 73s. Oh, I think my aggression ran out. Let's uh, move over here. Anyone? Thank you very much. There is 66 attack coming in. We're almost back over to strength. I'm just gonna leave this on an arc. Gonna have to let these potions go as far as they can if I don't want a bank. It's because I repotted when I first came in here, which there was still a bit of time left came on them, but I'll do it on the next tick down anyway. I've not got aggro again. It seems to run so far, run out so fast. Why are you no aggressive? Hit me. Oh, a Renarseed? I mean, it's not a defender, but I'm not going to complain at a free 20k in the pocket. It's been hard luck so far. Nothing coming through. We were on, I don't know how many of these Cyclopses we've killed, but we were on 298 at the end of yesterday, and we only killed like literally five or six upstairs today to get the rune. So we've killed about between 50 and 60 of these guys. Like I said, they had double the health of the guys upstairs as well, so it's longer kill time, plus higher defenses, so less likely to hit. 
But yeah, so far in the the 50 to 60 that we've we've got through, no defender. But like I say, it's just a a one in 100 drop rate for the defender off these guys, not a one in 50. My potion boosts are almost run dry. I'm gonna go down to the very last point, and once they've run out completely. I will call it a day here and probably go do a couple glue steps and birdhouses. Last one. That strength point's about to disappear. And I let my prayer run down while I was doing a bit of alking. No luck. Right, so we are going to have to come back here tomorrow, unfortunately. That is going to be another day on the defender grind, or part of a day at least. Who knows how long it will take us. It's going to take more than a day. Fingers crossed it doesn't. We can get rid of the Toxic Ketzil mouse. So that'll be an extra 450k. We've returned on that. The birdhouses are ready already. We were quick on them, so we can go do them. And then I believe we we did the Lumbridge cow pen step. Can't remember what the next step was. It was something easy. And then we had a Ruins of Ooza step that we can do. So we've got time to maybe finish a clue or two, depending on what the subsequent steps are, obviously. But yeah, it would have been pointless trying to go back in for another few minutes, because there is a Hunter level. Uh, sorry, no, that was a magic level. 69, 69 magic. We're only one level away from Ice Burst now. That's actually really good. We are almost at Ice Burst. Um, what I was trying to say is it's pointless going back in because we would have needed to go and get some more tokens and more pots. And by the time we've done that, it's just like we've already probably lost most of the extra time we had. And we have to pay the entrance fee again. Which is an extra 10 tokens. It's just not much point. May as well go do the clues. So, get ourselves a spade. You always need a spade when you're doing clues. Get ourselves a few teleports. Clay golems and ooze. We'll get a wart skin just to be safe. And runes of the all variety once again. Let's go straight to oozer I reckon. We'll do that one first. So that's the one we've got more steps done on. I think we've got one step and two. Ooh, do I remember it? I think it's DLQ, but I'm just going to type. Nah, da. What a fucking G. I should just trust myself. Sometimes I wonder about why I don't often go on dates anymore, and then I remember the fairy ring to the ruins of Uzo, and I remember why. Let's have it, what you got? AIAQ, I mean, we're not that far from a fairy ring. It was actually a pretty short run. Okay, I probably should have just gone back to Hardy, though. Oh, I didn't bring any stamp either. I think four's the minimum for a hard, though. So maybe this is done. Uh, top of the Hunter Guild. We do have the level for that. Okay. And um, Tree Gnome Stronghold. Let's go to the GE. Get ourselves some stamina from the bank and get ourselves... No, we don't need all else. That's good. I think we, we're good. Oh, but we'll put the uh, put this up for offer because we don't need it anymore. Probably lost a little bit of money on it, but oh well. And then we'll go over here, drinking our stamina, and go chat up Femi real quick. I feel like I'm just gonna have time to maybe open a clue without uh, actually putting anything up on the GE or... Oh, but we might just be able to open one. Kabuti in Type 1 I. Okay, we can do that, but we're gonna go do the other step first, because I already know where I was going for it. So Type 1 I, we'll probably go in Fairy Ring, C-I-R. That's not too bad either. Go talk to man upstairs here. Think man. Puzzle box! Shit, I wasn't expecting that. First time I've ever done a clue step in Valamore, I think. Let's go, we got the casket, and then we're gonna go to a fairy ring. Do I open on the way, or do I wait and see if I get another casket? Ooh, we could get a casket from the next step onwards on this medium. Oh my god, I got the wrong code. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, I don't know fairy rings that well. Maybe I should get more dates. I don't know if I'm going to get to this. 
Ah, uh, I don't think I'm going to get to this in time. I'm going to crack this. What we got? 85k. I mean, there's some Alks there. I think it's mainly just Alks. That's not worth that much. That's okay. We can take a few Alks. I think that it's taken us a few days to do that step, but none of them were difficult. They were all just very easy steps. Okay. And well, that is our time on the day. Stood right next to him, so I'll have to actually complete that tomorrow. At least do that step of it, you know, not just to immediately teleport away. But fingers crossed I remember to do that, because I'm stranded out here in the middle of fucking nowhere at the minute. All in all, though, it's been a pretty good day. Um, not at a bank at the moment, so I can't really show... Well, we don't really have much to show in the bank anyway, I guess. Because we haven't done much other than... Like, our cash is here. Yeah, our cash is here. We're up to 2.7 mil, which is nice. It's nice. We've still got the Berserker Necklace. That's an extra 2 mil that we'll get back, pretty much. And the Helm's like an extra 500k. So we've still got like 2.5 mil in items that we're wearing for now. We still need to go back for the Dragon Defender. Did not quite get it done in our... I'm going to say like 60, 62 maybe. Cyclops kills downstairs. Fingers crossed tomorrow we are at the end of that grind. In terms of XP today, we got about 70k similar to yesterday. So that's about what we can expect from a day hitting Cyclops. It is about 42k attack XP and 14k in hit points. We are approaching 67 now. We've got just 31k left. So if we spend another full day hitting those Cyclopses, we will be at 67 attack and ready to switch back over to training our strength. Uh, probably up to 70, even though if it's not a potion boundary, I think just getting to 70 is good for a little different item requirements. So that'll be the priority then. Standard Hunter and Farmer. Bit of magic that we got up to 69 with. The good old funny number. And yeah, that's about it. Make sure you hit that like button because you liked the video, didn't you? Otherwise you wouldn't still be listening to me wearing on. And leave a comment down below. Give me some good luck. That's the word I was looking for. Give me some good luck for this Dragon Defender. I hope it doesn't break me because it could be nice, but it could be very, very cruel. So wish me luck on getting it tomorrow. We want that DD Defender tomorrow. If it doesesn't come, I'm going to snap Jagex's servers in half with the force of my mind. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss me doing that because obviously I'd live stream that if I was able to live stream at the same time that I'm using the force of my mind to break entire company's servers into bits. Until next time though, look after yourself, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.